Veterans have unique needs, especially if they end up in our justice system. That's where Veterans Treatment Courts come in. I'm Emily, join me for this while you can use. Welcome to the Ohio State Bar Association's Law You Can Use, where we answer commonly asked legal questions. Today, we are joined by retired Justice Stratton to discuss Ohio's Veterans Treatment Court. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I'm delighted to be back. Thanks. Okay, so to start off, can you talk me through why Veterans Treatment Courts were created? What's their goal? Well, I originally started working on mental health courts, which try to reverse the cycle of jails and prisons being the de facto hospital and get people out. And through that work, I came in contact with the Veterans Administration who wanted to start these courts. And I said, they're just like a drug court or a mental health court, but they have a vet. So then we started a national, I was on a national VA committee, Veterans Administration Committee, to put these together. And we started pushing veterans treatment courts because veterans have federal resources for treatment that are much more extensive than a lot of state resources and they really have different issues. They have a lot of post-traumatic stress disorder, they have a lot of traumatic brain injury, which is often misunderstood. A lot of it comes out of the wounds of war, and so it's a very different type of uh, treatment modality, and many of them are afraid to seek treatment, but yet can really benefit from these courts. So they have really spread very strongly throughout the, the country. We have 23 or 24 of them in Ohio. Wow, that's a lot. So how do these courts work in Ohio? Well, someone can be a prosecutor, defense attorney, the probation officer, the arresting officer identifies somebody as a veteran mm -hmm. and suggests that they might qualify for the court, uh, special court. Sometimes there's limits on the types of crimes they can accept, uh, and different courts have different limits. But you get into the court, it's not a, a easy program. It's really a long-term commitment. Sometimes with small misdemeanors, you could get out, serve your time, and be out on the street, but then your issues will get you back into the system. So it requires a real commitment to say, I'm going to be part of this process and work on my recovery. And that makes a difference. And they're very different than regular drug cases or regular mental health cases. Veterans have a whole different way of responding to cut authority, a way of responding to treatment. So that's why we like to set them up as a separate. It's not a court per se, mm -hmm. as you think of a separate court, it's really a probation treatment program that we call a specialized docket. So it's a it's not a separate court that's set up by statute. Okay, sure. So what about their track record? Are these courts or treatment programs successful? They are highly successful. We have some very good data we're starting to collect because they're relatively new. But for example, uh, Stark County, which has um, felony levels, which are a much serious more level, they've only had a few cases uh, recommit crimes uh, last time I was in Youngstown where they had a municipal level, they had had nobody reoffend. Uh, there are different levels of that, but their success rate has been very, very high, very good, because finally, whether you want to admit you have an issue or not, you are in the criminal system, mm -hmm. and so you're finally forced to get treatment, to confront your issues, and a lot of it deals with what got them there, what, you know, as I said, the trauma and the wounds of war. Okay. So how can veterans access these services? If you are arrested and you're a veteran, ask to see if you qualify for a veterans treatment court track. Your court may not have one, but mm -hmm. some of them can take a plea and then send your probation to a surrounding county that may have a court. So you may not have one if you're in a small county, mm -hmm. but you may be able to go to a county and your probation is supervised by a judge that does have one. So ask if your court, your county has one and then ask if you can get into that program if you qualify so that you get those special services. Okay. So finally, I know you are an advocate of the peer mentor program. Can you tell me how that works? Peer mentors, we find that in veterans treatment courts, it really helps to pair an, a, a veteran who has hopefully the same sort of age group and war experience, like a Marine with a Marine, or you know, we have a lot of Vietnam vets still that uh, are coming in that may never have really gotten the treatment they needed. And so we look for volunteers in the community who are veterans. We have a program where we train them how to be a peer mentor and they sort of pair and bond and work with. They aren't the legal counsel, they just help them navigate the system. They're there for peer support. They're there to say, hey, I know what you're going through. 
and especially in more than any other type of specialized docket, in ve veterans' courts, those have proven to be very highly successful. Okay. Well, that's all the questions I have. Thank you for talking to us about all these important court programs. Thank you, and I really hope people will volunteer to be peer mentors. For more information on veterans treatment courts, check out the OSDA's website. For more law you can use, follow us on social media and write us with the hashtag LawYouCanUse.